again so you know what this means it's Sunday and I hope you are by now well into your relax zone and that you are looking forward to seeing another video from me and what I am going to do today for you is a quick review of my current foundation I want to do this because I am extremely happy with it and I want to share it with you guys of course and it is this one it's Synchro Skin by Shiseido this is what it looks like and I want to list the top five reasons that I'm using it and the reason that it makes me very happy and I'll do a little demo at the end for you guys as well and what I have to start with is that Synchro Skin is extremely lightweight and I hope this doesn't put you off because I know some of you are maybe looking for a more full coverage foundation but this is extremely buildable as well so if you start off with a nice thin layer you can definitely add on to it um, but this just means that it caters to a wide variety of needs. So if you just need a very sheer lightweight foundation like I do because I don't really have any major skin issues, then this is definitely something that you might want to look into. And if you want a fuller coverage, then you can definitely add more layers. Just start off easy and then you can always add more. And this will definitely leave your face feeling amazing, which is the second reason I love it. It has a very interesting formulation, I think, which makes your skin feel very soft and silky and dewy. But actually, when you look in the mirror, it looks matte. So the finish of the skin is matte, but the feel of it is extremely silky, soft and smooth, which I think is amazing because I have never found the foundation that does this before. The reason why I really love this is that it actually blends really well into your skin. And from what I've read on the Shiseido website, it's because this foundation is formulated with something named advanced sensing technology, which actually allows it to synchronize with your skin texture and color and actually melt into your skin. And this foundation actually is the right color for me um, for winter and spring when I'm not tanned at all. It is neutral too. So um, this is really great because and now we're going into the next reason why I love it. Um, this is actually formulated based on skin subtones. And I was mentioning them in a previous uh, video of mine where I was saying how important it is to know the tone of your skin and the subtone of your skin. Um, so I want to go a little bit more in depth here. Most of us can be placed into two categories depending on our skin subtone, which is warm colors or cold colors. And the part of us, which I also belong to, are neutral colors. Uh, and the way to tell which kind of skin subtone you have is by looking at, for example, which type of jewelry looks better on you, silver or gold. If silver looks better on you, then you probably have a cold skin tone. If gold looks better on you, then your skin tone is probably warm. And another way to tell what kind of skin tone you have is to look at your veins. And actually, um, if you look through the translucency of your skin, you can see the color of your veins. And if they are mostly bluish or purple, then your skin tone is cold. If they are mostly green, it is mostly warm. And as you can see, I have a mix of both. And when you have this mix, then that means that your skin tone is neutral. And this is why this foundation makes me very happy. It caters to cold, warm, and neutral skin tones. It has, I think, a rosy subtone, a golden one, and this one, which is for neutrals. Um, I do have to say, though, that they seem to cater mostly to Caucasian skin. So if your skin is a bit deeper, then you'll probably need to look for a different brand or a different line. Um, however, for those of you with very light to fair to medium skin tones, I think you'll be able to find a suitable color in this line. Another reason I really love Synchro Skin is that it actually has active ingredients. So it's not just a foundation that camouflages your skin's blemishes, but it's something that actually works from within to help your skin look better in the end. And it has Mother of Time extract, which works to combat damage caused by oxidation, which I think is amazing seeing that 
Um, we are constantly exposed to all sorts of pollution, to sun damage, to all sources of oxidation. And it also has St. John Wort's extract, which helps with the skin texture, skin roughness. And from what I have um, read before, it also may help with some mild cases of acne. And the last reason I really, really love it is that it also has SPF 20. It's not extremely high, but I think it's a decent SPF for a foundation. So then um, I'm not saying that you should forego SPF altogether, but it will help in case you're extremely forgetful like I sometimes am. And if you at least have this on your face, it will somewhat protect you from sun damage. And like I said, I will do a small demo for you to see how it actually goes on your skin. Okay, so now I've taken my makeup off my face, uh, except for my eye area because I don't put any foundation on my eyelids anyway, just underneath my eyes to camouflage my dark circles. Um, but I'm going to show you that anyway. So, take the foundation and put a couple of pumps on my palm. And then I take this fluffy brush, which I use for my foundation dab it then from the center of the face going outward and start gently applying it just a light buffing motion <laughs> want a nice sheer layer that will even out my skin tone and camouflage any potential blemishes. on my forehead because that's where I get the majority of my bumps and pimples. Then I go a little bit on my jawline and on my neck as well because I do tend to get some breakouts there and also because I want to actually blend the foundation in really well. I don't want there to be any lines between my face and my neck. And I told you guys I would show you what I do for my under eye circles. And what I usually do is I put a bit more foundation on my hand. And there's my fingers for this. And I have just washed my hands for it, so don't freak out. They add just a little bit of foundation, which I then press Ideally, you should press it with your ring finger because it applies the least pressure from all your fingers and then you don't damage the sensitive skin. And then I just gently press it into my skin and blend it. And of course, you're meant to be doing this before you put on eyeliner or eyeshadow or whatever else. But I just had already added them, so now I'm just showing you what I do for my under eye area. And that would be it. And as you can see, it gives the skin a very natural look, which I really love. I love the fact that after using this foundation, your skin looks flawless, but it still looks like skin and not like a mask. And I'm very, very happy with the fact that it doesn't take away from, you know, that freshness, that flush that you get in your cheeks. Um, it just lets your face breathe and look as it should, but just as a better version of itself. So that was the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. And maybe now you will actually give this foundation a try. If you do, please let me know what you think of it, if you found a good match for your skin, if you like the texture, if you like the way your face looks when you use it. And I also want to hear what your favorite foundations currently are. 
thank you very much for watching um you know please like the video if you enjoyed it please share it please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you here next saturday